Mais frère et en Christ et adepte de la secte de Wind National, la voix internationale, je viens de dénicher une vidéo, la vidéo d'un spectacle abominable du ministère de la voix de 1986, qui soi-disant illustrait le combat spirituel d'Ephésiens chapitre 6, versets 11 à 17. Mais spectacle qui était en réalité une séance subliminale d'orgie sexuelle, de bestialité et d'adoration implicite des démons sensuels et lubriques orchestrés et dirigés par l'ancien président et pervers sexuel Craig Martindale, qui a d'ailleurs été chassé honteusement du ministère de la Voix à la suite des scandales sexuels, de harcèlement sexuel, de viol, d'adultère, etc. Ce n'est donc pas surprenant qu'il a orchestré et dirigé cette abominable vidéo que vous êtes sur le point de suivre. En regardant en arrière, plus de 25 ans en arrière, je me demande comment nous avons pu être aveuglés par ce ministère. Et la réponse est évidente, nous étions hypnotisés, envoûtés, ensorcelés, par ce ministère. Parce qu'avec le recul biblique, à la lumière de la parole de Dieu, je n'en reviens pas en pensant comment j'ai suivi ce que vous êtes sur le point de suivre avec délectation, avec plaisir. Voilà en réalité la face cachée du ministère de la Voix internationale. Ce n'est pas surprenant qu'après la diffusion en Afrique, de cet abominable spectacle, ce n'est pas surprenant que beaucoup d'adeptes sont plongés dans la dégo sexuelle, la prostitution, l'adultère et toutes sortes de perversions, y compris même l'homosexualité. Je vous invite à suivre quelques extraits de ce spectacle abominable avec le discernement spirituel. En fait, c'est un exercice collectif de discernement spirituel je vous prie de mettre au bas de cette vidéo les commentaires de ce que vous aurez discerné, analysé à la lumière de la parole de Dieu. Ce n'est donc pas surprenant en regardant ce spectacle que ce monsieur a été au centre des scandales sexuels, des orgies, des abominations. Et il y a une chose que j'aimerais mentionner, c'est que Victor Powell qui a fondé ce ministère sur le plagiat, comme on a commencé à exposer, sur la copie des livres d'autres abominables évangéliques. Non seulement il a fondé ce ministère sur le plagiat, mais Victor Paul Rowell et tous ceux qui l'ont succédé, comme Craig Martinel, sont passés maîtres dans l'art d'utiliser le subliminal, de faire passer des messages sataniques en utilisant la parole de Dieu. D'ailleurs, leur maître Satan l'a fait en utilisant la parole de Dieu pour essayer de tenter Jésus-Christ. Vous pouvez voir cela en Matthieu chapitre 4, Luc chapitre 4. Apparemment, il vous enseigne le combat spirituel avec des ballets dignes des spectacles de Hollywood, de Broadway à New York. Mais en réalité, ce qu'il y a derrière, il vous expose à la luxure. Ils ouvrent l'intelligence des adeptes à la luxure, à la démo sexuelle. Ce n'est vraiment pas surprenant qu'après ce spectacle abominable, beaucoup d'adeptes, surtout les femmes, ont commencé à coucher avec ce président, le président du ministère de la Voix, qui a succédé au fondateur Victor Paul Howell, lui-même un abuseur sexuel, un violeur, un pervers sexuel, un débauché. Il n'est pas surprenant que beaucoup de fidèles sont tombés dans la démo sexuelle. C'est terrible ce que vous allez suivre.
clothe yourself with all the equipment and trappings of a gymnast of God, with a view to being able to win, standing up against the systematic scheming methods and devices of the devil. Because your wrestling contest is not with a view toward fighting flesh and blood, but with a view to being distinctly independent of all principalities, including the exercised authority of sultans who rule and exert their worldly powers by devil spirits in every place beneath the heavens. Because of this, clothe yourself with the complete equipment of God so that you may be able to withstand and resist the evil one in the contest. And if you prepare yourself with all the equipment in everything, you will stand firm and erect before the Bema.
candidate is committed. He's been primed and groomed for service through lust enticement. His greed has been stroked with tantalizing promise of fulfillment. His master now thrusts the permanent wedge in the mind of the chosen one to open him to the spirit world. Seed impregnates mind. Vanity of mind, understanding darkened, alienated from life of God, ignorant because of blind hearts, past feeling, men of corrupt minds, destitute of the truth. The permanent transmitter now being in position, the devil is able through his henchman, Daimon, Daimonion, to make use of the seed, to launch his fiery darts, thus energizing devilish infiltration. O oh, man of Belial, worthless man, void of understanding, you live by the perversity and twisted words of your lying tongue. Signaling behind the scenes with your proud look, you wink with your eyes, you speak with your feet, you teach with your fingers. The seat is in the very heart of your lust to devise mischief, and the seed you sow is discord among the true God's own. There is no remedy, no means of escape for you. For when calamity comes, you are sealed by seed. You are the devil's own, revealing yourself by your proud look of control and power, your lying tongue, your hands which shed innocent blood. For you have slain Jesus Christ, the innocent blood. Your heart devises and plans and pursues wickedness. Your feet are swift in exploitation of others, for you buy and sell men as merchandise. You are the false brethren who always speak lies, provoking others to do as you do. You sow discord and division in the very source of your being. You, lawless one. You, traitor. You, enlightened of the earth. You, king of the earth. You, and dear child of the prince of the power of the air. You, promoting and relishing all the riches of this world. You, are prepared to lead the spirit power of your father's kingdom, manifesting boldly the nature of your father. Your God will propel your ascent to the limits. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. A froward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbor, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things. Moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. Look, look how they cry for you, how they crave you. They have set their eyes upon you. They desire you, they demand you. Here, now, rise now, embrace them. The spirit realm awaits your leadership. He signals his crew. They follow his command. Order lies within this hierarchy of darkness. Order, which when orchestrated and played into motion, stands in complete conflict with the true God's order, ensuing in confusion, the systematizing of error.
His God imparts dark knowledge to him so that men with no defense, body and soul men without spirit, are entrapped in his snare. The devices of his father are many, and they are secret. For by secrecy and craft he entices, murders, intimidates. Many souls ignorant of his devices are oppressed and devoured of him, and remain without defense. They are blown about with every wind of doctrine. In search of answers, they are led to serve idols, distracted and deceived by the very ones they seek to flee. They are drawn into the powerless void of religion. Without spirit, a man is destitute of ability to compete, blind to the challenge, oblivious of the enemy. And so the adversary deceives, entraps, and by murder, he kills the helpless. But God has not left man defenseless nor in the dark. If anyone desires to know the true God, he will not be disappointed for Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled.
and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth, in the sight of all them that behold thee. Life does not consist of only attacking the enemy with offensive moves. Fully equipped believers. And now the competition intensifies. The minister's highest ability and skills are demanded. The minister may take his falls, but conditioning to the word of God has made him fearless. Time after time he bounds back into the match. God energizes all his resources, providing the necessary revelation which Seed attempts to counterfeit. Using his old devices, the adversary tries to buy out or sweet-talk the minister, who counters fiercely with acute perception and aggressive believing, bolstered by the household believers who contend together in prayer. The coach is committed. He is willing. He is able and ready to compete until the opponent is utterly crushed. Until the end. Resist the devil. Withstand. Oppose. Set yourself against him and he will flee.
of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord.